See, men can become women. Women can become men. Men can marry men. Women can marry women. Men can use the women's bathroom or the little girl's public bathrooms, share with women, as long as he says he's a man. He doesn't even have to have a surgery. Men can use the women's public uh, locker room. Men can use the women's public dress room. You know, when you go to the to the shopping mall, you want to exchange your dress or you want to try something on. I've seen this, I've experienced it, and I walk right back out and say, no, thank you. Yes, it's all over America. I'm sure most of the Western world. You see what I'm saying? Men wants to marry little boys. Men wants to marry multiple women or multiple men. This is the story of America. This is not here, see. We are living here. At least for those of who, who live here, we know that. You ask them, what is a woman? They don't know what a woman is. They don't know what a man is. They don't call, they, call, they, they have a new terminology. They call it uh, pregnant people or birthing people. You can't call it pregnant women. No, it has to be birthing people because they believe men can give birth. This is America. Yes, they are saying this. With all this madness and insanity and perversity and debauchery and wickedness and lustful behavior that's going on in this nation. And God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah for far less. It was the same homosexual thing, but I don't think the homosexuality went this far the way it's going in America and the Western world. I don't think the men were beginning to cut off their genitals to be women and women want to be men. No, they just want to sleep with each other. So God destroyed a city in the Bible for far less perversion. Now we today expect God will save America because well, America has pushed the envelope not even to the edge. She's gone completely off the cliff, over the edge. And yet God will save America. Why? When he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah for far less. The same perversion, but not even less. But now he's going to spare and save America because he loved America more than Sodom and Gomorrah. And if he saved America, wouldn't that make him an unfair and unjust God? Even Billy Graham, John Paul Jackson, Bob Jones, uh, Bobby kind of most of these guys, some of them dead, some of them still alive. It's Sadu, Neville, they have said it that if God does not judge this nation, he will have to apologize to Sodom and Gomorrah. We've we've heard that, we've heard it repeated several times. John Paul Jackson in the perfect storm. Some see, men can become women, women can become men, men can marry men, women can marry women, men can use the women's bathroom. Or the little girl's public bathrooms share with women as long as he says he's a man. He doesn't even have to have a surgery. Men can use the women's public uh, locker room. Men can use the women's public dress room. You know, when you go to the, to the shopping mall, you want to exchange your dress or you want to try something on. I've seen this, I've experienced it. And I walk right back out and say, no, thank you. Yes, it's all over America. I'm sure most of the Western world. You see what I'm saying? Men wants to marry little boys. Men wants to marry multiple women or multiple men. This is the story of America. This is not here, see. We are living here. At least for those of who, who live here, we know that. You ask them, what is a woman? They don't know what a woman is. They don't know what a man is. They don't call, they call this, they have a new terminology. They call it uh, pregnant people or birthing people. You can't call it pregnant women. No, it has to be birthing people because they believe men can give birth. This is America. Yes, they are saying this. With all this madness and insanity and perversity and debauchery and wickedness and lustful behavior that's going on in this nation. And God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah for far less. It was the same homosexual thing, but I don't think the homosexuality went this far the way it's going in America and the Western world. I don't think the men were beginning to cut off their genitals to be women and women want to be men. No, they just want to sleep with each other. So God destroyed a city in the Bible for far less perversion. Now we today expect God will save America because well, America has pushed the envelope, not even to the edge. She's gone completely off the cliff, over the edge. And yet God will save America. Why? When he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah for far less. The same perversion, but not even less. But now he's going to spare and save America because he loved America more than Sodom and Gomorrah. And if he save America, wouldn't that make him an unfair and unjust God? Even Billy Graham, John Paul Jackson, Bob Jones, uh, Bobby Connor, most of these guys, some of them dead, some of them still alive. It's Sadu, 
Neville, they have said it, that if God does not judge this nation, he will have to apologize to Sodom and Gomorrah. We've, we've heard that. We've heard it repeated several times. John Paul Jackson in the perfect storm. Some of us need to go back and look for that video. John Paul Jackson, the perfect storm. Look it up on YouTube and begin to revisit it. Because for God to say he's going to spare this nation because what of your prayers and my prayers? Really? Then what about Sodom and Gomorrah? Wouldn't he have to apologize to them? My only prayer is when this thing goes down, we all need to pray that we are in the perfect will of God. That means you, me, all of us, we are stationed and positioned exactly where he needs us to be so we can be protected and shielded and guarded by him under the shelter of the almighty wings of God. That should be our only concern. Whatever's going to go down, Lord, I want to be, find myself in your will, your perfect will. That means whatever city, state, nation, country, continent, in the ocean, in the city, in the forest, that means wherever you're supposed to be, that God wants you to be, make sure that is the focus of your prayer, that you want to be there. So when the stuff goes down, when the stuff hits the fan, you, you and your family, your household are heavily guarded and shielded by him. But if he's not in the, if you're not in the right place and you find yourself in another place, well, sir, man, I don't know what to tell you. Let's be honest. We all want the best for America, for Africa, for the church. We all want the best for every nation. But can one nation continue to push the envelope every single day and defy God's laws? And he still must protect and guide and shield and bless. Why? When he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah for far less. During the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, the men just wanted to sleep with each other. They women wanted to sleep. That was it. Today, it's going to another level that you can't even you can't even wrap your mind around it. You can't even understand. It doesn't even make sense. Like, really? It's not enough that men want to sleep with men. Men want to marry men. Women want to marry women. Women want to sleep with each other. Now they want to change their gender to tell God, I'm sorry, you made a mistake. You should have made me a man or you made me a woman. You should have made me a woman but you made me a man. They want to sleep with little boys. And the list, the list is endless. They go to little girl, little boys and little girls or school or the library or daycare center to have, uh, what do you call it, story time. The men dress like a woman, open up his lap and show his testicles. And they call it a daycare, what do you call it, something, a, a, a drag time, story time or some nonsense. Not, that's not enough. You find the, the school books in second grade, a third grade student, their homeworks, look at look in the books. This is America I'm talking about. I can only talk about where I live. I don't know where you live. Hello. Uh -huh. You open up the, the... As those of you who are Christian, you send your kids and your grandkids, nieces and nephews, you send them to the public school or even private school, even Christian school. Please don't be naive. Please don't have your head buried in the sand or buried in the Bible. You act like you don't know what's going on or you're holier than God or holier than thou. Please, when those kids come home, grab their homework and look in their books. You may be teaching some Christian stuff, but they go to school, the, the teacher will unteach them, make them to unlearn what you have taught them. Every day your kids come from school, I don't care their age, open their books and see their homework assignment. Make sure it's something that you agree with. You don't agree with, it's time to pull your kids out of those schools. Now, mobilize as parents and begin to start maybe a, a after home, uh, what you call it, a uh, nasty at home, what do you call it, homeschooling. Start maybe a homeschooling program or something, or a bunch of Christian parents or some stay-at-home mom. You guys get together, put your resources together, and maybe, you know, do some homeschooling or something, or Zoom, or Zoom homeschooling. But you need to start being complacent and complacent. This is not the time to be laxadaisical and just complacent and just relax. When your kids come from school, look at their books and their homework and see what they're teaching them, what they're indoctrinating them to be. I beg, we'll wake up. If God does not judge this nation, he will have to apologize to Sodom and Gomorrah because Sodom and Gomorrah did not go this far. America has gone beyond. Like I said, she's not on the edge. She has gone off the cliff completely. But yet, we say God will spare her. He will save her. He will have mercy. Why? Sometimes it takes great judgment and shaking for people, to wake them, for people to wake up from whatever slumber or debauchery or stupor they find themselves in. If somebody was on the, he had a loved one on a sinking ship and you know that ship is going down, you're not going to nicely and softly and gently tap them on the, on the cheek and kiss them and say, baby, wake up. No, you're going to violently shake them up because if you don't shake them up, both you and them might sink. That's why America needs a violent shaking. Spiritual violence, shaking. This nation needs to wake up. 
But where is the church in the midst of this? We are still praying and hoping some people pray, oh, Trump should come back as Trump is your savior. I don't say I hate him, oh, but is he your savior? Is he my savior? This is not a job for even Trump. This is the job for the church. Where is the sleeping church? She needs to wake up. And these de demonic, uh, perverted people who want to pass the laws against God's law, they will continue to push the envelope until you can't take it no more. Then you rise up and hit the streets. But right now you're still sleeping. You're still complacent. Relax a day. So just relax. You know, uh, wake up. Oh. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Ah, yes. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Mr. Chairman? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, can men get pregnant? Mr. Chairman? Yes. <laughs> okay. Chairman? Yes. Uh, can men get pregnant? Mr. Chairman? Yes. You can teach them. You can teach them whatever you want to teach them in England. But not in the Bahamas. Don't bring that around here. And I also want to say to all your parents, all your parents who've been emailing me, texting me and say, listen, you all get ready because the time will come when all of us can have to stand up yes. to protect our children. Whether we, we have to, I think we have to show this government because what this government is doing is testing the water to see if we, we, we be passive and we benign and we can let it slide. We will not let this slide. Not one filthy book will be led in our classrooms, in our libraries. I can lead the charge. When I say let's go, I need you all to let's go. Because I ain't letting it happen. As a Secretary of Health and Human Services, can you define for this committee what is a man? You're looking at one. Great. So you are a man. I like that. Can you tell me, can men get pregnant? Uh, unless you know something I don't, uh, I think the answer is pretty obvious. What is that answer, sir? I'm asking you, is there something you know that I don't know that would say that a man... Well, I'm asking what you know. Can men get pregnant? My friend, answer the question. Can men get pregnant? That's a yes or no. Stop taking the woman up and down and rabbit through it. Can men get pregnant? Yes or no? Stop playing games here, my friend. Ah, oh, what's... This? Can men get pregnant? I'm not aware of it. Okay. Well, uh, Mr. Secretary, materials coming from your department, you've referred to mothers as, as birthing persons, replacing that title with... Are, are mothers not persons? Mothers are persons, but it seems to be more inclusive, like you're trying to include another gender in that. I'm all about inclusion, okay. Congresswoman. There you go. Um, so, well, you know, just as a mother of four boys, um, I'm not necessarily offended at that. I am a person, um, but it's just unscientific and absurd. Um, how, how so? To include men in that, if you're going to person. be inclusive, if, if you're going to be inclusive in birthing persons, yes. Well, but, but, but it seems to me that you're trying Let's back to up. Can, the reclaiming my time. Can men get pregnant? So then we don't need to include them in this. Mothers our mothers. Moving forward, Mr. Secretary, I want to read for you um, from a document from your office, um, the Office of um, Population Affairs. Um, it says in here, and I quote, gender affirming care encompasses many facets of health care needs and support. It has been shown to increase positive outcomes for transgender and non-binary children. Mr. Secretary, what is a transgender child? A, a child in America is a child in America, and I hope you and I can love that child just as much as Can you define what a transgender child I is? Answer the question. A, a, that's a child in America, and it's an oh. American citizen child who needs the services and love just the way any other child does. Mr. Secretary, do you believe that a child is capable of making life-altering de uh, decisions to maim themselves? So, Ms. Roderick, uh, Marilyn, uh, can men get pregnant? Mr. Chairman? Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, Lord Jesus. This is America. Mr. Chair, to that point. This is America, y'all. And she answered the question with such a straight face. You want to laugh, but it's not even a laughing matter anymore. It's very sad. It's like America is on a fast track to hell. It's like this nation is on a slippery slope and a fast track to, I don't, to, to the pit, to the gutter, or it's already in the gutter and swimming. How can somebody sit there, a woman sit there with a straight face and answer that question with no, no shame? There's no shame to her game. No shame. No embarrassment. It's like she's boldly and confidently answering the question. Yes. Wow. So, Ms. Roderick, uh, Marilyn, 
uh, can men get pregnant? Mr. Chairman? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. Wow. Mr. to that point, and I'm not done, um, define what, what a woman is. In Mr. Your relevance, point of order. Thank you very much. Um, it is relevant and point of order not recognized. I, want, I would like you to answer that because you are speaking on behalf of a bill that involves pregnant women, and I would like to get your take on that. Mr. Chairman, I'm speaking, I'm, I'm speaking in opposition to a bill related right. to the domestic violence against people who are pregnant. I guess a woman who women. is pregnant. That's in the bill. Not people, woman. Women. So I would like you to explain what, in your definition what a woman is. Mr. Chairman, yeah. there are people who identify women. as different genders who are capable of getting I'm pregnant. Definitely. That is my position on this. I am not going to feed more into the bigotry of that question. Okay. Well, thank you. I just want to make a comment of uh, the reason I asked that question is there's two different philosophies in this room regarding this bill, and I think it is relevant to this bill. And I kind of I concur with Senator um, Rogers, and in, in uh, we it's a sad day in our in our nation where you have uh, a bill that's being run that is protecting pregnant women. Um, just a few short years ago, we knew what a woman was. We knew men could not get pregnant. And I still believe they cannot get pregnant. I was called a bigot this morning because of that philosophy. Um, it's, it's, it's insane where we become. And until we continue to push back on the idiocy that's out there as to men getting pregnant, people that cannot define what a woman is, uh, and we, we have to keep telling the truth, that God created them male and female, and real men protect real women. Can biological men become pregnant and give birth? Um, so men can have pregnancies, especially trans men. Uh, so, so can biological men become pregnant and give birth? So are you saying that a biological female who identifies as a man and therefore becomes pregnant is, quote, a man? Is that what you're saying? These questions about who can become pregnant are really missing the point. I'm here to talk no, about... No, 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 no. This, this is me Somebody, asking a question I'm answering and you question. answering. I'm asking the question, sir, not you. Right, and I'm answering the question. Somebody with a uterus may have the capability of becoming pregnant, whether they're a woman or a man. Uh, that doesn't make Okay, we're done. Not we're every done. person with this a uterus complicated. has the ability Let me to tell you, pregnant. if a person has this a uterus... Well, hold up. This one call himself a Dr. Kumar. And he just sat here and told us, if a person has a uterus, it doesn't necessarily make them a man or it doesn't necessarily make them a woman. So what he's saying is men can have uterus and women can have uterus. You see the madness in America? Y'all better wake up. As born female, they are a woman. That is not a man and the vast majority of the world considers that to be a woman because there are biological differences between men and women. I mean, clearly. Any high school biology class teaches that men and women have different chromosomes. Females are XX chromosome and male are XY chromosome. 